gentlemen. And now, the big moment you've all been waiting for. Gee, Dad, do you really think he can do it? Can he really make the Statue of Liberty disappear? We'll see, son. Oh, look, Scott, uh, isn't this da -da 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 dangerous? <laughs> I snap my fingers, the lights come on, and the statue will be gone! With your assistance, I shall bring the statue back. Please, everybody, cross your fingers. No, son, it's not T-Bob's fault. Looks like there's some foul play involved. Please have a seat. Why don't you two look around while we talk? And don't touch anything, understand? Sure thing, Dad. Come on, T-Bob. I'm so pleased that you could be here in person, Matt. We were there last night, when it happened. Dreadful thing, really. And it puts the free world in an awkward position. Can you imagine how terrible it'll be if anything happens to such an important symbol of liberty? It must be recovered, no question. I'll do everything I can. Only one problem, Matt. We're short on clues. The magician insists he's innocent. Was it really a trick? It's the truth, Dwayne. Let me show you how this trick was supposed to work. Huh? Dwayne, I'm going to make your coffee cup disappear in front of your eyes. But you have to watch from that end there. What is that? A mirror? Same stuff. Two-way mirror. How did you do it? It's simple. By making use of the characteristics of the two-way mirror, we change the angle the light reflects on. And you see things which are not actually there. I see. Which means the culprit hasn't... Yes, and whoever removed the statue must have known how the trick works. I'll bet anything that the statue is still right there in New York Harbor. Dad! Hey, Dad! Come look at this! Not just now, son. No, Dad! You gotta look! It's a Statue of Liberty! On TV! Unbelievable as it may seem, you are seeing the recently disappeared Statue of Liberty on a live TV broadcast from the state of Iowa. The TV signal is being transmitted to us from an unknown source, but it is believed to be authentic. Looks like harvest time for mask. Emergency, priority one. Select mask agents appropriate to this mission. Personnel selection complete. Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist. Vehicle code name, Rhino. Oh, 
no. Dusty Hayes, expert stunt driver, land and water vehicle, vehicle code name Gator. <clears throat> Excuse me, I forgot my watch. Help! Buddy Hawks, master of disguise and intelligence gathering, also maintenance specialist, vehicle code name Firecracker. Gloria Baker, champion race driver and black belt in Kung Fu. Number 18, Gloria Baker is still in the lead. Will she hold on and win? I wouldn't believe it. Let's check it. What? What's going on? It's an ambush. This ought to keep them busy. Something to do with this. I'm going to handle this from the air. On target. Miss the big show. Yeah, Mass fell for it, all right. Hook, line, and sinker. Ha! <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna have some job getting this lady back to the big city. Wait, an object need not look like a fish. Smell like one. Say what? Spectrum on. Oh no. It's a trap. Aura, deflection shield. No. This close to being popcorn. Aw, shucks. Now that's sure a corny thing to say. Oh, do I detect a curl of humor in that, buddy? <laughs> Aha. Hey, over here. It's a hologram generator. That's how Venom got us to believe the statue was really here. Then why did Venom put up a fight out here in a cornfield, for gosh sakes? The clever bird feigns distress to conceal her real nest. Come again, good buddy? That's it, of course. Bruce means that Venom deliberately lured us here. Oh, 
Ah, see? Which means the statue is probably still right in New York. He just needed some more time to... Matt, Venom just delivered a ransom demand for the Statue of Liberty. That figures. The terms? Unless we deliver three billion dollars within three hours, they'll blow up the real statue and broadcast it to the whole world. We'll be there. Out. Three hours? That's barely enough time for us to get there. We must. Everyone, synchronize mask watches in countdown mode. Mark. Losing time fast. There can't be too many places to hide such a large object. Huh? What's this? This is Bruce. Come in. Yes? The computer generated this map of the harbor area. And look at this. It's where the red line is. A few years ago, a subway was under construction here. But funding ran out. It was never finished. Then the tunnel still exists. That's how Venom got to the statue undetected. That's got to be it. You and Buddy take the subway tunnel. I'm counting on you to defuse any bombs before Venom blows it. Right on. Right now. The rest of us have to find Venom's hideout. OK. Select probable coordinates for Venom hideout. Insufficient data. Try again. Hmm. Mayhem's ego wouldn't risk getting caught down on that subway tunnel. But Mayhem's ego would pick the biggest and tallest. Scan the World Trade Center towers. Gotta move faster. Time's a ticket. like we're going to be going anywhere. Maybe Penetrator can get us through that mess without burning out. Penetrator, on! like a dead end. But where's the statue? Look! It's a time bomb! Where in creation are we? It can't be. This is it! Huh? The statue! We're inside it! disarm all those explosives. I'll take the inside. You better check the outside. Turn around! Aha! A remote radio detonation device. Gloria, can your aura mask block a radio signal? You bet! Venom plans to blow up the statue by remote control. Aura, radio frequency mode on. Oh. 
safe crossing the street. Sure, Dad. I always cross at the corners, just like you taught me. That's good, son. But take a look at your clothes. Oh, I get it. Maybe cars could see me better if I wore something brighter. That's right, son. It's just something you pay attention to.
Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids.